Podemon Studio. The universe has always been a curious place for many of us. We all are fascinated by the elements of our universe and have always questioned about different mysteries of it. The universe is a name that we use to describe the collection of all things that exist in space. And in today's video, we will show you few of the weird and strange objects that uncovered and exists in our universe. A squashed star. The star Vega is a familiar sight to any astronomer in the northern hemisphere. But if we got to see the bright star from a different angle, we'd have a very different view. Star Vega has a weird, characteristic shaped, looks like squash. As Vega faces Earth bow lend on, it still looks round to us, but its dark halo is a telltale sign of a cooler equator and oblate shape. Vega's bulging waistline, its high oblateness, is caused by a high spin rate, it rotates once every 12.5 hours. This throws material out around its equator. Strange Dimming of Tabby's Star Tabby's Star, also known as Boy Aegean Star, MWTF Star, and designated Kik 462852, in the Kepler Input Catalog, an F-type main sequence star in the constellation Cygnus, approximately 1470 light years away from Earth. This is a star that appears to be typical in every way you look at it, with the exception of its light curve, that's how its brightness changes with time, it is characterized by asymmetric, irregular dimming, lasting days, weeks, months and sometimes decades. The dimming could originate on the star's surface, around the star, in interstellar space or even within our own solar system. The latest data, indicates that the brightness dips, are consistent with dust, however, it is yet to be determined where this dust is, and how it got to be there. But there was one explanation, that captured the public's imagination. Was the Tabby Star, the home of a giant alien structure? Giant Stellar, Wind Machine WR-104, is a wolf ray it, a star at the precarious point in its life, before it goes supernova. The core has no helium left to burn. Instead WR-104, is forced to churn through heavier elements such as oxygen, which upsets the careful balance, between gravity and fusion inside it, causing the star to shed its outer layers. WR-104 could explode at any time in the next 8,000 years, with some unpredictable, cosmic fireworks. But our planet is far enough to be affected by its gamma ray burst. WR-104 could explode at any time in the next 8,000 years, with some unpredictable, cosmic fireworks. But our planet is far enough to be affected by its gamma ray burst. NY Camelo Pardalis Camelo Pardalis, appears to be a fairly common or garden variable star, but on closer inspection astronomers concluded, it was a binary pair. The two stars are orbiting each other at over a million kilometers per hour, and they are so close that their atmospheres are beginning to interact. MY Camelopar Dallas, is a precursor to a stellar merger. Eventually the two stars, which already weigh in at 32 and 38 solar masses individually, will combine into one giant star, over 60 masses in size. Astronomers have long hypothesized, that this is how supergiant stars are made, but the phenomenon has never been seen before. Is it a galaxy, or a star? SAO 206462, looks like a galaxy at first thought, if the astronomers didn't observe well, is a young star, located 460 light years from Earth, in the constellation of Lupus was discovered during an exoplanet search using the Subaru telescope in Hawaii in 2011. The youthful planets are growing out of a circumstellar disk of gas and dust, 
which extends out to around 80 astronomical units, twice the orbit of Pluto. At least two of these planets have shepherded the disk into its unusual shape, with a different planet responsible for each arm. The oldest star before the universe? HD140283, a subgiant star 190 light years from Earth, was first studied in the 1950s. It posed something of a paradox. It appeared to be 16 billion years old, 2 billion years older than the universe itself. Subsequent observations reduced this age to 13.7 billion years, meaning it would have formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Its age earned it the nickname, Methuselah's star, after the oldest man in the Bible. The first sign of its geriatric nature, was that it contained 250 times, less iron, than the Sun, suggesting it had formed in a time before the universe became suffused, with heavy elements from supernova. Prisy Bielski's star Prisy Bielski's star, or HD 101065, is a rapidly oscillating star, about four times the mass of the Sun, and at roughly 355 light years, from the Sun, the closest neighboring star from our system, found in the southern constellation of Centaurus. Just beyond what our eyes can see, is a truly weird star. Stars are fusion engines, creating heavier elements inside their cauldrons, but Pussy Bielski's star, is cooking up the kinds of elements we don't normally see in stars, including uranium. This star seems to form, only heavier elements, the kind of stuff seen, in violent events like supernova. Before we go to the last part of our video, please leave us a comment, like, share and please, hit the subscribe and the bell button. Lucy, the diamond in the sky. Lucy, or BPM 37093, is a variable white dwarf star, with a hydrogen atmosphere and an unusually high mass of approximately 1.1 times the sun's. It is about 50 light years from Earth in the constellation Centaurus. At first it appeared to be a dim white dwarf, but it subsequently turned out to be incredibly dense. It is also remarkably cool, with a core temperature of a mere 6,600 degrees Celsius. By comparison, the Sun is around 15 million degrees Celsius. At these temperatures stars begin to vibrate, and astronomers can use these vibrations to peer inside a star. In this case, they found that the star's carbon core had crystallized to form, a diamond 10 billion trillion trillion carats in size. The star was later nicknamed Lucy, after the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Studio.